What's going on guys? It's your boy, it's Cosmo. We're back with another one. Today we're going to be reacting to Journey, Faithfully, Live in Manila. Let's see what they got cooking. I think I have heard this. I think this sounds really, really, really familiar. I don't know. I'm. Is this like a radio jam? Because if this is a radio jam, I definitely have heard it. You know, if it plays on the radio from here and there. I don't know. It, it does sound really familiar the, from the beat, you know. I, I don't know. But no, I definitely... Like I said, from Don't Stop Believing, I, I, I don't, that's the only song I really, I, I know I know for sure, for a fact. But their, his vocals are way better in this, like, live, I'm saying. Um, I don't know, I, I really, I've never heard them live. So this is, like I said, interesting. I, I definitely like the vocals live. And like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I said this last night, I, I'm usually live vocals like a lot of artists they sound way worse live you know like there a lot of artists are really you know they'll lip sync instead of using their real voice because they just they don't they don't have the talent that it takes you know what i mean they they would rather sit there and use all the editing and you know the software to make their voice sound good rather than go up there and sing live you know so i definitely have respect for for the artists who don't lip sync, you know, and can actually sing like this without all that editing software. You know what I mean? Like, uh, no, but for real, I've never heard them live. This is, this is dope. <laughs> Yeah, I've definitely heard that. Just from that right there. Just from that, like, that beat, like, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a build-up, but I wouldn't call it a build-down because that doesn't sound right. I don't know what you would call that, but that right there, where they were just, you know, that part of the beat, I definitely, that hit something in my head, like a bell in my head, like, yep, you know this song. I, I've definitely heard it, um... But it's not it's not as rememberable as Don't Stop Believing to me. Um, but like I said, the live, the vocals in the live, definitely better than the original song. No doubt about that. Circus 
This man, like, I don't know how many sets this man has done before this, you know, this song, but this man is sweating so much. And don't, don't get me wrong, this man's, you know, he's definitely, he's like my figure, you know, and we don't sweat very easily. So this man has been working his ass off during this concert. This man has been literally, uh, he's probably done like, six seven songs before this you know what i mean oh man no like i said i i just give mad respect to the people who can you know actually perform and give it their all every single performance you know because a lot of artists nowadays they don't even care about that when they perform they they just literally and i will say this a hundred times over and over and over i don't care if i sound repetitive but they will just do it for the money they'll literally just be like oh you want me to perform on that stage well i need this amount of money and i'll do this and then that's it you know what i mean they'll go up there they'll do it they'll stand still for you know an hour and a half or whatever do their songs and then they're out you know they're like pay me <laughs> and I, I i don't like that i definitely don't like that so the people who actually you know and i was just talking to my fiance about this earlier today you know people who actually take pride in their craft and what they're doing will always come out on top in whatever they're doing whether it's and for instance me and my fiance were talking about food but if whether it's being a chef whether it's being an artist whether it's being whatever you're doing if you actually care about what you're doing you're gonna be better than someone who doesn't give up you know what i mean like i don't know it, it's just common sense right there but i'm interested it i i never Butcher me if I'm if I'm incorrect. Really, let me know if I'm incorrect. But I see people waving the Filipino flag at this man. Is this man like a half Filipino or something, or is he Filipino? Let me know about that. I'm interested because, like I said, I did see people waving the. I don't know if it was just at the band or something. Maybe someone in the band is. But it looked like it was at him. I, I'm not sure. Let me know about that. I'm interested. I'm gonna just say just by how he's giving out his performance and like I said how it seems like he gives it his all in every performance that he's got he's got some type of Filipino in him you know what I mean like this every time I've seen a Filipino perform or Filipina perform they just give it their all and they you know they respect it they respect what they're doing and he has the same attitude He's trying to get everyone hyped, like, I, I don't know, this is dope. I really, I've never, like I said, I've never heard them live. I really, I, I don't know, but I did see something about them touring recently, like, coming up recently, not recently, that's in the past, coming up soon, I guess I should be saying, 
is a tour and they're actually on it i was i was like what i, I don't know that was crazy to me like it was a bunch of old, old, old bands that are touring pretty, pretty soon. I want to say it was like in, in like six months or something like that. A bunch of old bands. I don't know. I, I, like I said, I was like, what? They're still touring? I don't know. I, I think that's dope. Like I said. Um, but then, <laughs> but then I, I heard something out of, this is way off topic and I, I'm sorry. A lot of you might not even care about this, but. I heard that Metallica doesn't even care about their craft anymore. Like, they did, but now they don't care about their craft anymore, and they're literally just putting out new albums and new songs just for the money because they're literally taking old riffs and old samples from old songs and reusing them, and they think it's brand new. I... Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. But that's what I heard. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was hilarious, though. I'm like, what? Come on. Yo, that guy is nasty on the guitar. Holy sh... What? Who is that? I gotta know his name. Yo, he he's reminding me... Like, right there, that's kind of reminding me of how quick... Like, I, it has no similarity in sound. Don't get me... Like, I'm not saying it has any similarity in sound. But just how quick he was doing it right there. Like, that was when I was watching Infant Annihilator with Easy Mill. And he was just like going crazy you know what i mean i don't know i love like the technicality of the guitar and what you can do with it i don't know there's so many different things and it's it's a blessing you know what i mean <laughs> Oh, he just said Salamat. All right, that's dope. So maybe he, he's got to be, like I said, just the way he, he he's got to be like half or something. I don't know. But that was dope. That was dope. He he killed it. And that guitarist, bro, I, I definitely like their live better than, you know, just what I've heard on the radio from them. That's for sure. There's no doubt about that. They killed that. Now, with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate all the feedback and all the support. It really means a lot. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that sub button. It would really help me out. Please hit that notification bell to see when I upload. I try to upload at least five times a week. I hope you all have a beautiful day slash night. Much love and peace out.